Hi everybody, this is Jeff, and today we're going to go over JetBoatPilot.com's uh, throttle sync. Uh, this by far is, in my opinion, the number one first thing you should do to your boat. Um, I've owned boats, I'm 37, I've had my own boat. I've been boating since I was in diapers, I've had my own boat since I was into my 20s, stern drives. Um, of course this is my first twin engine boat, I've had jet boats before, um, and I really just love this product, so I wanted to go over it with you guys and just give you a perspective on how easy it is to install. Alrighty, so what I've done is I've actually taken the throttle sink portion of it off on one of the levers to give you an idea of how easy this is. So here's what your, here's your factory throttle handle. Excuse my squeaky seat here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your factory screw right there. There's just a screw holding this little cap on. You take that out, you take your throttle, your uh, throttle sink, and just place it over just like that. And then you take their new supply bolt because I'm assuming this is, has to be a little bit longer. And then thread it in. You do that for both sides. So let me get that bolt put back in and I'll show you how smooth this is. Alrighty, so I got it bolted back up. I'll give you guys some different perspectives here. So how this works is these two caps get put on. On this side right here, you have a little, uh, you have a little thing that pops out. And what that does is that just engages in this little hole right here and that just pretty much locks them together. What's so nice about this is the ability to use one hand to do everything. It's nice that you can just you can manipulate your throttle with one hand just like this. Now I have my throttles so I had an issue with um, throttle drop look it up. I had an issue with throttle drop on this on this lever right here on the port on the port throttle. The nice thing about using this is if you do have a throttle drop situation it keeps them locked. It doesn't want to suck back after you set it. This thing is just a piece of cake. People driving the boat, new people driving the boat, my kid, she wants to drive it. This makes it simple. Bada bing, bada boom. If you don't want to use it, hit the switch. And it is easy to do that like on the fly, man. It's like there's nothing to it. My opinion, I just can't, in my opinion, the boat should have it from the factory. So this is just an excellent product. I know it's expensive, but to me, it is totally worth it. I mean, Jesus, you're spending 20 on a boat anyway. What's $150 to buy this? Um, and that's it, man. You get it up. The nice thing too is, say your say your RPMs are a little out of sync. Um, you know, you can always take it and manipulate it however you want to, and yada yada, and then just slide it back over. Um, it works great. I highly recommend it. And like I said, the ability just to use the one hand like this to just like, especially towing skiers, and just kind of finesse it a little bit like that. That makes it really nice. Um, and that's it. So that's my review on the throttle sync. Highly, highly recommend it. I'll put a link up in the video where to buy it. And that's it, man. There ain't nothing to it. Just a couple, it's hard plastic. It, it definitely feels like it's made just as good, if not better than the plastic on the factory um, levers themselves. And that's it. The end. Have a good one. Peace out. Bye.